Richmond, Virginia, if you study any U.S. history, is the former capital of the Confederacy um, during the Civil War. And last night when I brought this up, some people left when I started talking about this thinking that I was a filthy racist or something. And then one of the guys bowed up on me, and before I knocked his fucking ass out, I realized that he was probably misunderstanding what I was talking about. To clarify this, um, I am not interested in the neo-Confederate movement in the, in, in the city that I live in, and I abhor the essence of it entirely. If you walk the streets of Richmond, Virginia, you will see monuments, phallic, dick-sized, if you have the biggest dick in the world, monuments to people like Robert E. Lee, uh, Jeff Davis, Jeb Stewart, and all our Confederate, do you see this? Quote, unquote, heroes. You understand what I'm saying? And they are the filthy, the economic elite, the white work, the white master class, the people who enslave blacks. And there's nothing for the people who busted their ass, broke their backs, and had bleeding hands to make these people filthy fucking rich. There's nothing in our city that represents that aspect of history. And it makes me sick to my fucking stomach. But the point is here, with this monologue, is that I don't think... When I was 20 years old, I barely read. I was strung out on drugs. And I had a couple good friends who taught me that reading was a wonderful thing. And had I not started reading, I wouldn't know anything about the city that I lived in. And the reason I started reading was these people encouraged me. The people they encouraged me to read were historians. And my favorite, a social activist, a, a writer for the people, and a historian named Howard Zinn, is the reason that I came to be the person I am now. Howard Zinn passed away this week. And I'm going to sing this song with my whole heart for Howard Zinn. If you've not read any of his books, please do. Z-I-N-N. -N. Read, start with a people's history of the United States. If I hadn't read him, I wouldn't know that Virginia Commonwealth University, the main university in the city of Richmond, Virginia, owns a parking lot. And below it, there are enslaved blacks buried. And there's nothing done about it. Nothing. Not a fucking thing. I gotta bring up old shit. Does anyone know the name Gabriel Prosser? My conscience says he's the one that history missed. A blacksmith by trade up at Brookfield Plantation. A Henrico County slave born to owner Thomas. If you listen closely, you'll hear the words perfect. The Caribbean uprising caught fire in this land. Up and down the James River, the monkey in Appomattox. Tobacco soil gone bad, a a movement for the blacks. Nine years before, down in Santo Domingo, slaves refused to submit and took the right of all man. Virginia whites got nervous and all more militias as blacks inspired, plotted, and passed on their plans. Mr. Prosser's Gabriel was smart as he was strong, ahead of keloid scars and a mind of knowing right and wrong. Voted general at 24 in the year of 1800, haunted by the hymns and wailing of his fellow slaves. Now does anyone know the name Gabriel Prosser? My conscience says he's the one that history missed. A blacksmith by trade up at Brookfield Plantation. A Henrico County slave born to owner Thomas. It was on an August night outside of Richmond, Virginia. Gabriel's men gathered as their owners they slept. Some would burn city streets to attract residents and masters, while others took the capital and free convicts. Well, the whites, they knew nothing, never seen what could hit them. Nothing like this could happen with their carefree black men. But think about freedom, now think about slavery. Blacks arm themselves with muskets and homemade bayonets. 
with a white flag on the Capitol. All blacks say we'll rise. White spared, we'd all lose an arm. You're a coward if you own men for profit and greed. You're the coward of all, and for all you must bleed. Now does anyone know the name Gabriel Prosser? My conscience says he's the one that history missed. A blacksmith by trade up at Brookfield Plantation. A Henrico County slave born to owner Thomas. Pharaoh and Tom routed out Gabriel Prosser. Their owner was Mosby, a neighbor of him. They say the sky seen seas of rain and lightning. On the night of August 30th, one could see nor stand. The militias let loose to haunt Gabriel Prosser, who took to the swamps as they imprisoned his men. Flagged a boat whose captain was a Methodist preacher But a traitor slave turned him in in the end They hung Gabriel down and brought him 15th Street Lord, he would not give a word up on his men But he took that noose and he took it with honor He's buried beneath parked cars now and pavement there's no monument, there's no stone here to see him Just black ass fought flank by high-rise hospital chain If I had in my way, we'd see memorials climbing To a true and honest hero, Frosters Gabriel Now does anyone know the name Gabriel Prosser? My conscience says he's the one that history missed. A blacksmith by trade up at Brookfield Plantation. A Henrico County slave born to owner Thomas.